What's going on guys? It's still Friday and it is still October 19th. So this video is going to be a drive and talk. So I did just watch my last video. Yeah, it got some hate. I expected maybe some hate. But I just want to address a few things. So first off, I will say that uh, this car has been really reliable. Honestly, I mean, it's amazing. Dude, this car has been through hell and back. And I just basically typed that in some of the comments in replying to some people's uh comments they have left and yeah I did expect some hate but uh I'm just kind of simply address uh something so yeah this car has been through I'm gonna say probably maybe 250 launches maybe more I don't know um since this car was brand new I basically drove it just before the 1000 mile break-in and I did like a launch from zero to like I don't know 115 and that was like my first uh, YouTube, or it was probably my second YouTube video of this car. And uh, from that point on, it was basically how the car was driven, man. It was driven to the limit, literally. Like all this, uh, all these videos, you know, there's been some videos that were helpful too. You know, there's a lot of issues that I had. And some people also had the same issue or they probably just got the car and they had like some weird sound. And I basically had like every single issue that you possibly can have. And I think at the same time, even though I had problems, but at the same time I was helping others who were maybe having the same problems or issues come up or they'll have a question about maybe how the transmission kind of takes a while to break in and stuff like what the car still do. And I, I think I did a good job of addressing a lot, a lot of that stuff. And I know I've helped other people. And also I think a lot of my videos have been becoming a lot really boring, repetitive because it's been mostly uh, just lately it's just been really pulls I mean and this bus is like taking up every part of the road man. can you see anything uh oh there's a bad exit over there wow dang man that's bad Whew. that's the thing you gotta be careful out there too you know yeah that's real bad definitely want to go on that way to come back so yeah, this was a drive and talk. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about, you know, for what this car has been through, you know, all the launches, the E32, the track days, the zero to 60, so maybe doing a pull before the engine temperature gets up. I mean, it's been through a lot, a lot. And if anything, it's amazing that every single time I turn that key, that two liter direct injected, horizontally posed, turbo four starts right up and purrs beautifully. And to this day, I still appreciate it. My girlfriend doesn't like it because she thinks it's kind of loud, especially on a cold start. Like she won't even sit in this car when I do a cold start because it's pretty loud. I'll admit, it's, it's kind of loud, you know? It's a loud car. And uh, that's another thing is, uh, that's another thing she can't handle is the, the fact that this car can be pretty loud. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, I've enjoyed this car. I loved it and I love sharing all the moments I had with you guys from all the track days and quarter mile runs and abuse and this braking that braking from two clutches to pit stop bracket which has happened uh it's just amazing you know but it's just been through everything you know it's if you know like for super you know they say like when you do a certain when you uh, apply for a service or whatever on their website like is it extreme conditions like mine's even more than extreme mine is like race slash extreme slash abuse slash you know this car probably has gone through more stuff than probably some cars go through in a lifetime if you think about it I mean, it's been through a lot and again i just want to say that i know it has been and i know it's because of me <laughs> and it's just the truth you know it, it is because of me you know? i like to have fun and i like to share with you and if anything, I'll be honest with you, like my videos aren't even being monetized right now. So like, you even notice my videos, there are no ads. I am literally just doing this for fun. And I still enjoy doing what I do. I'm just gonna keep doing it. And the car I had before this, which was a Saab 3 Aero Turbo, I did the same thing. I, mean, I drove the crap out of that. I don't have as many videos, because it really wasn't that like cool of a car. But yeah, I drove the crap out of that car too. I got that car with 60,000 miles and then after about 120,000 miles is when I kind of gave up on it. I had like some kind of water pump issue and I basically just, I traded, I traded it and then I got this car. And then from that point on, from day one, after I basically hit that almost 1,000 mile mark is this car has been through a lot, like I just said, so yeah. It's 
So I just want to kind of address the fact that I am not denying that it's not it's not that it's not you know just because of the car or the reliability reliability issue. No, it's because of my driving. You know, I'll admit this. You know, all the stuff that has been through all those track days. Like some people probably only take their car to, car to a track maybe three or four times. Maybe like in a lifetime. I guess some people obviously do more than that. It's like they got the money to you know do repairs and all that stuff, which I obviously don't since I been fortunate enough to take advantage of the warranty and all that stuff. And yeah, I've been taking well advantage of that, you know, if anything. I'll tell you one thing. I looked at the uh the cost of all the warranty stuff I had done on this car because when uh I took my card for the pit stop record they basically printed off like everything, all the history. And dude, this car has been through like eight thousand dollars worth of repairs and that's all under warranty. And the amount of labor hours that was put into this car is 40. And then now, if you think about the pit stop bracket, now that, I don't know how many hours that would have took. That probably pretty, probably jumped it up to maybe 60 hours for all I know. But yeah, this car, what the heck? Did not see that. That's the thing you gotta watch out people are not paying attention. Uh, I just did not expect that. So yeah, if if I had to pay the eight grand out of my pocket, dude, I would not have this car. I would, I know, would probably be broke, and I'd be driving like a beater Honda Civic with 120,000 miles of anything. Because yeah, I'll be honest. I mean, I am just a part-time school bus driver. It's not the best job in the world, but one thing that I love doing, and you guys can tell from my videos, is driving. I just love to drive, and that's just my thing. So want to know anything about me is I love to drive I love uh, technology I love computers I wish to have a job involving computers I mean I have so much passion and so much knowledge but I guess the hard part is they say you need that piece of paper that degree or whatever you know whatever you want to call it to be certified and that's just one thing that I do not have and I just do not want to go through that whole process of going back to school because if anything I'll be honest with you I did not like high school. I like if it didn't like school at all. I mean, some of the things that I think they taught you, like I don't really think I use any of that today. You know, I mean, like I really don't. You know, I mean, I'll be honest. I'm not like the smartest guy in the world. But I'm, I guess you could say I'm street smart. But uh, if anything, I just don't like school. It's just that simple. I mean, when I did when I did have a uh, high school, I would skip classes. I would not go. I would. Pretend I'm sick, and what do you, you know? I do all kinds of things that most of the people did, and uh, yeah. So that's just one thing that makes it hard. Is I wish to have a, a job that I would actually have a passion in, but I just don't have the opportunity. But someday it may be possible, and then who knows? I can maybe get something, a new car that uh, is brand new. That I won't abuse, by the way, <laughs> or so I say. <laughs> that I won't abuse. That uh, I, that will last me a long time, be reliable, and still be fun when I want to have fun, you know. And this car has been fun, you know. And it still is. And this issue that I have, I, I did realize that in that video, it was hard to hear. I only heard it one time actually, and it was when I stayed in second gear. It was towards the near the end of the video where I was in second gear and I basically kind of nailed the throttle and I let off and then you totally could hear it. But that was the only time I heard it. Now this issue, I mean, I could live with it for a while until I figure out what I want to do with the car. Um, but really the next step would be to, one thing is get these damn stickers off this car so nobody knows about any YouTube channel. Um, secondly, obviously take the tune off and then sell the access port, you know, I would probably do that. I don't, I don't think I would want to, I mean, I, yeah, I guess if I did pri a private sale and somebody wanted the access port with the tune, I don't know. If I, don't, I Honestly, I think it would be best to just like, sell it stock. Even though I would probably be honest with to say it was tuned, but I don't know. It's hard to say. I didn't want to ramble on too much, because I know this is kind of like going left and right with topics and stuff. I want to stay on point. But basically, I just wanted to address the simple fact that I know that this car has been through a lot of abuse and it's been through hell and back. It's been through more stuff than, like I said, than most cars go through through a lifetime. So, if anything, I know it and I admit it. And yes, it's true. I I enjoy it. You know, I enjoy sharing 
the moment also with you guys. And that's what I do, you know. Another thing that I want to say, I hope that I don't piss anybody off in saying this, but one thing I can't stand is when I, I, I watch a lot of people who do like car vlogs and stuff. And some people who talk about cars, there's one guy who talks about this car actually in particular. I'm not going to say who it is. But he, he'll like make a video and he's just sitting in the car. The car's going nowhere. All you do is like see the dashboard and he's just sitting there talking. If anything, I like to drive and talk, you know? When you're just sitting there and you're just basically rambling on for 20 minutes straight and there's like nothing to see, no view, no nothing, it's just boring, man. And see me, I always drive. I'm a driver, man. School bus driver. I used to be a parts delivery driver for a uh, trucking company and that's me, I'm a driver. I thought about Uber, but then I also thought about I don't want people tearing up my car. But yeah, so that's just who I am. I'm a driver and who knows what I'll be in the future. If anything, I would love to have that awesome computer job and be like a computer tech or whatever you want to call it. Basically, I, I wish to have that job and I wish to move somewhere that didn't have like winters like the Midwest does. I live in, live in Illinois for those of you who don't know. It sucks here. Winter time is basically depression time. It gets dark early, it gets cold, and it sucks. And some of my other jobs, I'll just kind of kind of deep, deep dig a little deeper. Some of my previous jobs I had, I could not handle it in the winter. But this driving job, I seem to handle it in the winter. And that's one thing that I've never been able to uh, do, is have a job that I can handle in the winter time at this uh, school bus out in front of me uh, is one thing that I'm able to handle so I don't want to take that road that uh that exit was on so I'm gonna definitely go around that probably just gonna take 59 because I know everywhere on that road is gonna be backed up so. I didn't want to like I said I didn't want to ramble too long I didn't want to make this video so long because man these 4k videos they take a long time to upload the longer they are, the more gigabytes they are, and man, this probably won't be up till maybe 10 o'clock at night, if, I, if anything, so that's all. I just wanted to say that, and uh, as always, guys, I appreciate all the support, and I hope you guys don't hate me on this. I mean, don't, like, feel like you have to unsubscribe or, you know, hate me or anything. If anything, you should appreciate the fact that I do what I do, you know, and I do it for fun, and I like to share it with you guys, and I hope I don't lose anybody, and I hope you guys stay and see the journey wherever it goes. Whether I move somebody somewhere else, California, with my girlfriend, have a nice big house. I wish I could have that, but who knows what will happen. Till then guys, I hope you guys have a nice weekend. If you live in the colder climates, stay warm, enjoy your weekend, stay positive in life, and I'll see you guys around. Lose WRX, signing out. Don't hate. Send a love.